Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I am Shista and welcome to my channel. So I've decided to come back on and to do a flip through of Life of Fred Pre-Algebra 1 with Biology. We are going to start with the introduction. And again, this is by Dr. Stanley Schmidt. And he wrote all of the Life of Fred books, the whole series of books. And he is a math professor. So we start with um, his introduction, so to speak. And he gives his take on whether this is enough. So a lot of parents always wonder when it's something that's outside of the box, especially like Life of Fred, they wonder if it's enough. And as we go through, you will probably wonder the same thing. Reading this will help you to decide for yourself if it's enough. I know for me that reading this and gaining that wisdom from him just confirmed to me that what I was doing was enough for my student at that time. He also gave his take on if it's enough biology and his rhetoric on um, what real life is about. Is it really about um, subjects throughout the day, everything just being divided up, or is everything kind of run together? And um, so this is for the parent as well as the student. He gives more information here as well. And then he goes into how to use the book. He talks about when to use calculators and when not to use them. And I know that um, a lot of parents wonder when will you get to use a calculator. He tells you when. Now in the book, um, in the books as far as the elementary series, there is a your turn to play. But in the intermediate series, starting with this book, there are also what he called the bridges. And the bridges are like quizzes or tests. And your student gets five chances to pass or cross the bridge. Here we have the table of contents. If you notice, after the seventh chapter, there is the bridge. And here it says with five tries following chapter seven. And as we continue on, and there is a chapter eight as well. And make sure you guys can see that here. And then it is the same way again, here and then the bridge. And we'll look at that a little closely in just a moment. There are a total of 46 chapters in this one book. In the second book, I believe it's the same amount of chapters. At the end of this main chapter, the final chapter, you have the final bridge, and that is testing the knowledge of everything that you've learned or they've learned. Here is chapter one, and we're just gonna flip through. And I want you to see that it is set up similar to the elementary series. Here is the Your Turn to Play. And here is here are the questions and then the answers. Now what you can do, because the answers are with the um, problems, you can cover this. And a lot of people use like, a sticky pad or something like that. I used just a white sheet of paper 
and you can double it or you can do a darker sheet of paper and I got it to where it's folded in half you open that page and you cover now we get to the bridge and this is what I want to show you is that the bridge is a quiz or a test and you your student gets five tries the whole thing is here the goal get nine or more right and you cross the bridge so if they get nine or more of these right they do not have to do the second try the third try the fourth try or the fifth try they get to cross the bridge over into the next um, chapter. If they don't, if they miss the goal of getting nine or more right, then they go on to the second try. And it still holds true to get nine or more right. If that um, did not, if that wasn't successful, you get the third try. If that's not successful, the fourth. If that's not successful, the fifth. If you get to the fifth try and your student um, is still having trouble, he does recommend starting over and reading those chapters again because there's something that they have missed in the comprehension. So everything that is in the in the test the bridges here has been talked about and there are examples in the reading so this is why I like life of Fred because he just doesn't dismiss a student after missing you know not not passing the first time and then even on the fifth try he said you know what let's go back and let's read again and this is why I truly like Life of Fred. Now what I want to do is give you a small example of some of the biology. Now, in the very beginning of the book, it's going to talk about things that concern biology. But what I like is that he has taken a subject that is separated and he has joined it to his main subject, math. So, let's take a look at biology in this particular life of Fred. So we can start, um, let's see, I'm having trouble with my glasses. In other words, I'm having trouble with my eyes. So let's go As we can see here in chapter 17, he is talking about photosynthesis. And if you have a main biology book you can see for yourself that they're going to talk about photosynthesis because biology is about living things. And so that includes plants and animals and humans. So if you see that this is not enough, if you think that it's truly not enough, use it or use your biology curriculum or book and pull that out and have your children do some research. There's a lot to say about research. I mean, I remember having to do research papers all the time in high school. So you can always make this and anything else that you use more than enough. You just have to put your mind to it. And if it doesn't work for you, it just doesn't. And you just do what you do.
on and flip to the final bridge, which is the final final testing in the book. Answers to the bridges are in the back, so it's not in order at all. So now we are at the back of the book with the index, and let me tell you how I would use this index. In the index are very important subtopics, right? Things that's been covered in the book. It may not be every single thing. But majority, the majority of it is right here in the index. Now think about this. If you are really wanting to see if biology is enough with you, by using this book, come to the index and pull out all the biology. So I'm going to do some for you. Autotrophs, biology. Audio receptors, biology, blood pressure, biology, blood types, bones, brain, breast cancer, breathing in, calcium, capillaries. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there we go, capillaries. Look at all of the biology that's in this book. Along with, of course, the math. I think he has done a great job at doing what a lot of curriculums um, really can't do. I really hope you enjoyed looking through this. I